The Order of Cabbage was RuneScape's first and largest cult. During their peak, they covered RuneScape's largest cities with thousands of cabbages, and made enough noise to get Jagex's praise and attention, until they suddenly vanished. Today, you'll learn why. Our story begins all the way back in the very early 2000s. A player named Blackbane had just signed up for a new browser game called RuneScape. He had just finished high school and didn't have much of anything going on in life. So he began sinking all his free time into the game. As he continued to rack up hours of playtime, Blackbane had a bit of an existential crisis. He realized that the entire game was exactly the same. He asked himself, what was the difference between clicking on a rock to train mining or clicking on a tree to train woodcutting? At the end of the day, all you're doing in the game is clicking on different objects. So rather than take the traditional route of a RuneScape player and do activities that would progress his account, he devoted his entire purpose to killing hobgoblins to collect as many limpwort roots as possible. Why? Well, he thought the name was funny, which he's right, it sounds like something you'd need a blue pill to fix. Blackbane spent all his time collecting limpwort roots until he discovered the existence of cabbage. Blackbane doesn't remember why, but his item collection hyperfixation soon turned to cabbage rather than limpwort roots. Perhaps it's because cabbage is one of the most useless items in the game. Eating one heals only one hit point, and your character doesn't even like the taste. Examining one gives you the message, yuck, I don't like cabbage. Why would the developers add something that they don't even like to the game? Well, you'll actually see why in a little bit. Despite its bad taste and lack of use, this silly item would soon change the course of RuneScape's history forever. But first, let me change your course with today's sponsor, Boot.dev, an RPG that teaches you how to code. The folks at Boot.dev believe the smartest way to learn how to code is by making sure you're never bored. Boot.dev is online, self-paced, and feels like a captivating RPG game. You'll learn backend web development from start to finish in the Python and Go programming languages and put yourself on track for an amazing career. The median salary for backend developers in the U US in 2023 was over $100,000. Plus, many programmers often have the option to work remotely or from home. Now, the platform will get you writing a ton of code, as getting your hands on the keyboard and shipping projects is the best way to learn. And if you ever get stuck, there's an active Discord community to help you out. Click the link in my description box and use my code Colonello to get 25% off your first payment to boot.dev. That's 25% off your first month or year, depending on which subscription you choose. Blackbane found that the best place to pick cabbage was just north of the Edgeville Monastery, as there was a large patch a short walk from a bank. Someone at the bank noticed that Blackbane kept going back and forth to and from the bank, and asked what he was doing. He explained that he was collecting cabbages, and the player laughed at him. But Blackbane kept doing what he was doing unfazed. Although picking cabbages is a clearly very exhilarating way to spend your time in RuneScape, Blackbane would somehow grow bored. So to keep himself committed to his collection and entertained, every now and then he would begin shouting cabbage-related phrases while banking. Other players took notice, and Blackbane was soon referred to by players on the tip.it RuneScape forums as that crazy dude picking cabbage. As Blackbane's collection grew, so did the amount of curious players. By 2004, Blackbane had picked over 100,000 cabbages, and many of those same forum members that called him crazy would begin picking cabbages with him to see what they might be missing out on. Eventually, they would move to the Falador farm patch, as more cabbage spawns were available and it was still close to a bank. Many players began asking Blackbane if he would start a clan about cabbage picking, since now there was a small group of players who enjoyed it. Blackbane thought the idea of a clan was boring, and instead wanted to start, in his own words, a cult, which he would name the Order of Cabbage. However, his approach to managing this cult was an interesting one. Rather than go out and start recruiting in the name of Cabbage, he would keep this cult a secret. He would wait for players to suggest that he start a cult, inform them that one already existed, and invite the most enthusiastic ones in while shouting Kaba G, the cult's chant, which is really just a silly way of saying Cabbage. So they had a cool name and a chant, 
but all good cults also need a uniform. Blackbane decided on a black shirt, black pants, a chef's hat, ruby amulet, staff of fire, red gloves, and a red cape. The red items were specifically chosen because they complement the color of cabbage. The cult would grow slowly, and by mid-2004, they had about 20 dedicated members and a handful of recruits. However, by the end of 2004, member numbers began to dwindle. There was a lot of infighting, presumably about how the cult should be managed. Blackbane closed their forums temporarily, hoping the fighting would stop. However, when he reopened them, it just continued. By the start of 2005, he decided that he had had enough, and announced that he was resigning as their leader, but would remain as a cult elder. A devoted player named Ignite168 stepped up and asked Blackbane to pass the cult to him and to other cult elders. After a lot of convincing, Blackbane agreed, although the other two elders would leave the cult just a week later. Things were looking pretty dire, but Ignite would lead the cult into a new golden era, or maybe more fitting, a green era. His first order of business was another rally to collect 100,000 cabbage. Along with this, he would no longer keep the cult a secret, started more actively recruiting, and by mid-2005, member numbers were absolutely booming. Every week, Ignite was now hosting member induction events, cabbage picking marathons, and even cabbage bombs. Cabbage bombs are where members of the cult would try and fill up an area of RuneScape with as many cabbages as possible, all while shouting kabaji and other cabbage-related phrases like yum, not yuck. This might be my favorite thing the cult did, because it's really cool to see. Every player who didn't know what was happening was beyond confused. Some less experienced players would even accuse the cult members of using hacks. The cult would also begin hosting events called Cabbage Paloozas, essentially big parties in the South Falador Cabbage Patch where cult members would socialize, form conga lines, and host drop parties. Although most of the drops were just cabbage. However, to get enough cabbage to do these events without draining their salad bar, a lot of cabbages would need to be picked. They couldn't just buy them as this was long before the Grand Exchange, and purchasing large quantities of a near useless item was difficult, if not impossible. So, to keep themselves entertained while picking, the cult would come up with a large variety of synchronized picking techniques. Some examples are the two-person weave, the drain pipe, the waltz of death, and the limp. However, it wasn't long before disaster would strike. On March 1st, 2006, Jagex silently changed cabbage respawn rates to be slower. Not only would this mean collecting cabbage would take longer, it would break just about every synchronized technique that the cult had developed. You'd think that Jagex made this change specifically to hurt the order of cabbage, as why else would they make a change like this? But they were actually pretty big fans. Jagex moderators would occasionally stop by the patch to give the cult some praise, and it's even rumored that one of them was was Paul Gower, one of RuneScape's co-founders. Even today, nobody seems to know why the respawn rate was changed, but I'm almost certain it wasn't to hurt the order. By March of 2006, cult numbers were now in the hundreds, and their cabbage collection was quickly approaching an insane count of 1 million. On March 25th, Blackbane was the one to pick the final inventory of cabbage, pushing them to exactly 1 million. Of course, a huge party was held the same day to celebrate but the celebration wouldn't last long as a new threat to the cult was on the rise, the Stu Uprising, a group that instead of collecting cabbages would collect potatoes. This group would invade the cabbage patch on the cult's homeworld and began flooding the patch with potatoes. This group would later combine with an onion-based group to form the Pot Onions. The Order of Cabbage fought back the only way they knew how, asserting their dominance by cabbage bombing every major area in RuneScape. The Pot Onions would slowly lose steam and disappear entirely, but they wouldn't be the only copycat group to try and go up against the Order of Cabbage. So, to make sure the Order's members were well prepared for the next copycat, a section was added to the Green Book of Knowledge on how to defend the patch from invasion. The Green Book of Knowledge is like the cult's version of the Bible. It contained cult history, rules, techniques, and even cabbage mythology. 
The Cabbage Mythology section is especially detailed, and even contains a story about their made-up cabbage god named Kralashankas. But those of you who have been playing RuneScape for a while may be thinking, RuneScape already has a cabbage god named Brassica Prime. Well, Brassica Prime was first mentioned in an April Fool's post back in 2007, years after the cult had come up with Kralashankas. The cult believed that Jagex introduced Brassica just to honor them. In fact, the cult believed they were the sole reason Cabbage had become such an iconic and widely referenced item within RuneScape. Which would make sense. These guys love Cabbage and everyone knows it even Jagex staff members. But Jagex had been secretly obsessed with Cabbage long before the cult existed. RuneScape's founder, Andrew Gower, had an unexplainable fixation with Cabbage. He hates the taste, but just likes the concept of Cabbage, if that makes sense. He would even sign his autograph as an at sign inside two brackets, which he said was a Cabbage in a box. For some reason, he just loved Cabbage. Cabbage is the most important item in the Black Knight's Fortress quest. When the game had a swear filter, bad words would be replaced with cabbage, and when Andrew messed up coding that filter, everything you typed would just be replaced with the word cabbage for a few days. Andrew's mom even got in on the joke, and made him a cabbage painting that hung in his office for years. Without knowing any of this, Blackbane and his cult also became coincidentally obsessed with cabbage. So it makes sense why they believed that they were the reason cabbage is everywhere in RuneScape. As the cult entered the early 2010s, they had managed to pick over 4 million cabbages in total, but activity was quickly declining. Many of the cult's original members had since grown up and moved on from RuneScape. At the same time, the game was going through a pretty big cultural change. The idea of playing efficiently rather than just for fun was quickly becoming the way to play RuneScape, and cabbage picking is perhaps the least efficient use of your time in RuneScape. After the last official Cabbage Palooza in 2011, cult numbers would slowly dwindle until it disappeared almost entirely. Although there have been multiple attempts to revive the cult by former members, none of them have been successful. However, I like to believe that their memory lives on today through Jagex's frequent references to Cabbage, even if they're not directly meant as a nod to the cult. If you enjoyed this video, check out the one on the right, where I discuss other useless items that actually helped save old school RuneScape. The game might not exist today without them.